Hi guys. Um, I was asked on one of my Facebook groups um, how to make these birds embellishments. So I'm going to share just a little bit on how I made them. Um, I just made a template by drawing on a pad of paper. And um, I'll show you. I have these little cardboard cereal boxes, what not food boxes of pieces of little critters here that I make. Um, this one's my owl piece. So I make the owl. Um, you can make different styles depending on how you want your owl. You can put, the, I have a, a kind of a guitar pick shape um, of a body. A thumbprint shape of a body with almost cat ears, if you can see that. Maybe I'll go on the yellow side. So then, um, and it's about the same size as a guitar pick as well. So then you kind of keep to the same size. And I have one wing that you flip back and forth to draw your um, your wings on. And I just sketch it up on pad paper. I have several pads of paper down here. I write my little notes. And that's how I write, um, sketch it up. So you can do an owl with one shoulder, one wing showing. I could flip it out and make him a little bit more rounded owl, like this. Um, I can make two wings and have another one sticking out back here. Um, or I can make wings like this. I can make him a more a little thinner owl, like I said, flipping by flipping it over. So you can do little different styles of owls. Here's a larger one. And I've done this one a little more on the pointy side, but you can trim it down as you cut to change the styles of your owl. His the wings are a little shorter, but you can go and make your own, you know, so styles. Um, this is my bird. Um, you can do it with your wings up. I have a little curve here, so you can go up, down, oops, whatever you like. So you just start off with a with the pattern of the shape of the animal that you that you like to, to make. Um, okay, so I was thinking of what kind of animal. I'm just going to do a different type of bird um, where his head I'm just going to kind of do a rounded head and a almost an egg shape or whatever body and then I'm going to do a double tail on this one. So that would be kind of, if you can see, the beginnings of my bird. And then whatever kind of beak, if I want to make a beak or I could cut it off. Usually I just make add my own beak after. But you could do whatever kind of beak you want. Um, and then the wing will be... I'm just going to kind of make a fairly large wing and I can cut it down if I want. So then I have a wing like this. Um, if I want to make him a little bit more rounded, I can do that. Mm, do I want that in the front? And then you kind of think about that and play with it. And you can give and take away and then you cut them out. And then you trace them onto your cardboard just like any pattern and then you keep your patterns. I do this with all of my um, my patterns. I do like little angels, wings, whatnot, um, butterflies. So this is how I make my pattern. And now I'm gonna have this little bird and I'm actually not, well I'm still, by the time I get to the belly over there I'm not gonna sure if I'm gonna have it more rounded or more line uh, streamline of a bird depends he's going to be kind of a character bird because they're more cartoony they're not realistic and they're more like a little character on your cards so and I actually am going to cut the beak off because I could change his type of um 
the attitude the bird has just by having the beak up higher, the beak up down lower, and that kind of stuff. And that's so I like to add my own beak afterwards. So that's my thing. Um, I'm gonna do my wings and um, I'm gonna trace it onto a piece of cardboard. And that's exactly what I do. I use a cereal box. I um, then draw it out. Here's a piece of cereal box here. I'm going to draw them out and do the same thing. And then I have my template. And I just keep them here like this. These are some of my wings. Um, these are my birds right now. I'm planning on other templates of little critters. So then I have embellishments made for whatever. And you don't have to do the same type of paper. You can do your own um, prints, which is really nice because then it's your own pattern and your own jelly prints, or you can use scrapbooking papers from pads or any kind of papers from Happy Mail, and you get a unique bird pretty much every time. And you can move the beak up or down, and those wings, the wings can go up or the wings can go down a certain way if it's flying or whatever you can just play with the wings in any direction or way and you can flip your your pattern over and make the birds coming and going and you can have two of the same pattern birds on something and look totally different by just the way you move like I said his wings um, beak and whatnot Okay, now just to show you, like um, I was saying, that you can do different things with the same pattern. Here's my owls I have done, and these ones I have to make more that are loose, but I was just playing with them, and I put them in this kind of shadow box um, idea of a frame. And there's the one where my piece here, that is like a guitar pick, is flipped the smaller end up. He's giving him a rounder belly. Here's him with the with it um, down and and with the two wings the same pattern and then there's another one see with his same pattern but different you know and then you can see how his face is in these ones you can turn his face to look a little different and here's my other one here that I have on hand but that's what I mean by changing his little beak any direction I want you can do that with the um, birds as well and their feathers like if you see some of them are down here some of them are up so now I have my card and paper up so let's make a bird let's make him I have some nice fun paper here I have two sided paper we can do it with this. I'm going to just see how this is for this bird. And we can do fun colors. This is more just the... Um, more of the lighter color. It'll be the bird. I'm going to make his wings a little brighter. And here is a nice pattern for the wings. Or the wing and you can do two wings on this guy I will do two just to show you an example of the wing being used in different ways so I'm going to cut these out and then show you the difference between my birds here so I had some of these, I'm cutting them out a little bit, and then you ink your edges after you cut them out, um, just to give them some highlight, or some low light, or whatever, just give them some, uh, I don't know, just to show that they're there and they don't blend into your background of whatever that you're doing. You um, do the same thing with their beaks, and now you can kind of just put their beaks in any direction. Um, and then I cut out some eyes. You can do with hole punch or whatever you like. Um, and here's this bird. I made another one extra fun bird just to show you the different colors. So I'm going to add a little bit of glue to his wing. There.
there and position it. I'm going to grab my tweezers here because it's a little easier to dip my um, beak into the glue. So we're going to make it look like this guy is going really, really fast flying. I'm going to take my, um, sorry, my napkin. We'll look for it and push down on the beak so then his glue, the glue kind of squishes out and doesn't get everywhere. And that's that guy. I'm going to give this little guy a little eye. And it could be even a smaller eye maybe, but I'm giving it a fairly large one. Maybe I'll trim it a little bit. And it is, um, you can just draw the eye on. Um, any kind of thing like that. Um, use a little flat back pearl and um, add color to it. But here's a little black eye on this one. Pick my white and I'm pointing his little eyeball towards the front like he's watching where he's going, right? And he's going really quickly towards it. There's that one. Um, this one I have, I'm going to put a wing, two wings on it, just to show you guys. I'm going to dip one wing this way. Or actually, I'm going to dip one wing down. And I'm going to put one wing behind, just for the fun of it. And show you that there's just two, two. You can do whatever you want to your pattern to change it up around your page if you're doing a, a scrapbooking page or I mean like an art journal page or any kind of thing like that. Just going to shape his eye a little bit. I find that I'm not going to give him such a big pigeon eye you know like the other ones here that almost have like the pigeon eye. It's kind of a pigeon shape and almost lost my beak my beak. I'm just dip, I have my glue off the side here and I'm going to put this one's beak just a little bit down like her head is churned a little bit. And it looks like that little one's looking looking down. And that's how I like to do my little Creatures. This one almost looks penguiny too, so you can alter it to make it look like a penguin sliding down in the snow or whatever. So um, you could take your um, pencil, crayon, watercolor pencils, what I did with my other ones here, and I just did the shadowing underneath the wings a bit. And uh, then I wetted, of course, the little bit of a brush and then that kind of thing. So just do a little bit of the shadowing like this. You can do even some behind the wing. It depends on which way your, your light source is, is on your page. And you just wet it a bit. And then cause that nice, it's not a good brush for it. <laughs> I cut it down because it was a, a cheap brush and I think I cut it too short. But there is two birds just made here with a pattern I just made just to show you guys. You can do your own little um, pattern for your own little critters and then you can keep them and change them up as you need it. And um, look at the difference just being put in position of the beak. So that's that one. And like I said, this is how I made this little birdie. 
and the, these two owls. Um, actually, Cora's owl um, that she made that I gave her with jelly print. I put the owl together for her. I made it for her because she loves owls. And I used it with a little short wing. But if you use it, sometimes you could just flip it over. You could cut off what you're not using. But use the same kind of pattern. And there's a shorter owl version to the taller big owl because not all the birds are going to be the same size but you've got the same pattern of of critter then you don't have to keep drawing it from scratch all the time you kind of have and then this one too you just do your hole punches i actually for this owl's eyes i use this punch right here which is a half inch punch for his eyes for the big one for the little one i use the regular hole punch paper hole punch as well as for these kind of dove-like birds here I use the there's his eyes <laughs> I use these hole punch punch and then these ones I use the hole punch and I cut them a little bit smaller but you can use beads um flat back beads that are the colors that you like so I hope that helps guys um yeah I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial thanks guys talk to you later bye bye